Hello and welcome to the stamp camp. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute box using our scallop envelope die. This is also from a kit from the Spring Mini and I'll have the name of that on the blog but it's closed with Velcro and then inside you could put like nuggets, Ghirardelli squares, jewelry, anything that you can think of inside that super cute little box. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make that box. Now you're going to start out with the scallop envelope die and you need two of these. And you, um, My box is the crumb cake and my piece here is cut four and three quarters by five and a quarter. And then you got to sandwich your plates come in with my Big Shot and run that through. Now you want two of these. Now you want to do these separately because if you don't run them separately, if you do two together, this happens. Wherever it was scored, it wants to cut through. So you want to make sure you do them one at a time. So I have two of them and I just want to show you where I put the red line tape on them. So on one of them you're going to put the red line tape on the tabs here and across the bottom here and then on the other side on the flap. And on this one you're just going to go across here. So on one you just have the big flap, on the other one you have the scallop flap has it on one side and the other flaps have it on the other side. Then you need to take a piece of coordinating cardstock and this is cut one and a half by eleven and then you're going to score it at two and a quarter, three and a quarter, and then it was two and a quarter again. So it's scored at two and a quarter five and a half, seven and three quarters, and then I have just a little bit um, where it's scored again at like 10 and 15 sixteenths. So I have a little ridge here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this multi-purpose glue and you're going to run that on that little ridge. If I can get the glue to come out, here it comes. So you're going to run that glue just on that little ridge. And you're going to fold on all those score lines. And then you're going to attach this to that little ridge. And you're going to want to set that aside to dry. So that it dries in a nice square like this. And it does dry very quickly. Here's where I put my seam. Now, the box itself, how you're going to do this, you can see I have my tape here and the tape on the sides. See how I stuck that in the side there. So that's going to get all stuck like that. This one here, let's see, is going to be stuck like this because this is our cover. Oops. So I'm going to fold this in, the two flaps, and that goes over. That's my cover, and then that's going to get stuck, and then that's going to get stuck. Okay, it is very easy. So I'm going to go ahead and put it together. I'm going to take off all my red line tape off my side flaps. And I'm going to just take this
So are you with me? That's how that goes. Now this piece here, where this flap, it goes into the back, flush with the back like that, and then the little flap here closes it up. And then this. The beauty of video is that you can reverse, rewind, watch it again and again and again. The next thing I did was put uh, Brad in the front. And this is from the kit, which I'll have on my blog post. Like so. And then I took a piece of Velcro and I just cut it in half because I don't really need the whole piece. And I stuck that over the top like that. Fold my sides in and put my lid down and fold it. Okay, there's my box. Now the flower. The kit has all these in. What you want to do is you want to fan them in different directions, and I have 10 of them. And just keep fanning them in all the different ways. You just want lots of layers. Layers, layers, layers. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your mat and your paper piercer and you're going to go through that whole group in the center there. Just push all the way through. This is also from the kit and I'm going to just push a hole through the center on that one. And then I'm going to take this yellow brad and go through the hole here and then through all my layers of the flowers. Fan that out in the back. And then what I can do is I can curl these up. And then I took some more of the glue. And I just stuck that on my lid. Just hold it there for a few minutes. And on this one, I just... It's the Itty Bitty Banner stamp set and the Itty Bitty Frames. Happy birthday and cut that out with the framelit. Just gonna put a couple glue dots on there. Put that here. And there you have a super cute box that you can put different treats in or jewelry or probably lipstick, chapstick, anything will fit in there, chocolates. So that is your video for today. Thanks for stopping by.